Hi, this is Dr. O'Connor. Welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. Here we're told that aluminum reacts with excess hydrochloric acid to form aqueous aluminum chloride and hydrogen gas. The gas is collected over water at 27 degrees Celsius and 751 millimeters of mercury. We're being asked how many grams of aluminum were reacted. Well, in this problem here, we can use the ideal gas law in order to determine the number of moles of hydrogen gas. So we have PV equals nRT. And then we can just go ahead and solve for moles. And so here we have it. Now, once we solve for the number of moles of hydrogen gas, then what we need to do is use the balanced chemical equation to relate moles of hydrogen gas to moles of aluminum. And then we'll be able to calculate the number of grams of aluminum that were reacted. Now, first, we're told that the hydrogen gas was collected over water at 27 degrees Celsius. So what we need to do is we need to subtract the partial pressure of the water vapor from the total pressure from the 751 millimeters of mercury. So what you need to do is you need to go to a table which you can find in a textbook or um, online or in the literature. And you need to look up the vapor pressure of water at that particular temperature, in this case at 27 degrees. Well, notice here we have listings for 26 and 28 degrees Celsius. Well, what we need to do then is take an average of these two pressures because they don't list a pressure for 27 degrees. So I've already done this here. Note that the units of pressure here are in torr, and our total pressure is in millimeters of mercury. But one torr is equal to one millimeter of mercury. So I just go ahead and take an average of the two pressures, and I end up with 26.75 millimeters of mercury. So that's what I want to subtract from my total pressure. We have 751 millimeters of mercury. We go ahead and subtract the 26.75 millimeters of mercury due to the water vapor. And what we end up with is 724.25 millimeters of mercury. So now we can use that pressure. So we are all set to go, almost. We're going to use the ideal gas law, solve for the number of moles of hydrogen, and then we'll write the balanced equation. Now, our pressure has to be in atmospheres, our volume in liters, and our temperature in Kelvin. So let's go ahead and convert the volume. Is 35.8 milliliters. We want to convert that to liters. So we have 0 0.0358 liters. And our pressure, we want in atmospheres. So we have 724.25 millimeters of mercury. And we know that one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury. So we're able to convert that. And what we end up with is 0 0.95 296 atmospheres. And let's see, we have to convert the uh, 27 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. So we have 27 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. And that is going to give us 300 Kelvin. So now we can use the ideal gas law to solve for N. Well, let's go ahead and do that. N is going to be equal to pressure, so 0 0.9529 atmospheres times the volume, 0 0.0358 liters, and then that's going to be divided by the gas constant, 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin, and then multiply that by the temperature, which is 300 Kelvin. I'm going to check and make sure that my units cancel. 
so pressure cancels, volume cancels, temperature cancels, and I'm left with moles, which is exactly um, what I want. This works out to be 0 0.0013851 moles of molecular hydrogen. Okay, now we're ready to go. We have to relate the moles of hydrogen to the moles of aluminum. So the only way to do that is to use the balanced chemical equation. So we are told that aluminum reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce plus hydrogen gas. Well, we have to make sure that our equation is balanced. So let me do that. I assume you know how to balance an equation, so I'll just go ahead and put in the coefficients. Well, I have a mole ratio of 2 to 3 for aluminum to hydrogen. So let's see. We determined from the ideal gas law that we had 0 0.0013851 moles of hydrogen. And from our chemical equation, we see that two moles of aluminum produce three moles of hydrogen. And so moles of hydrogen cancel. And now I can just go ahead and convert moles of aluminum to grams. So the molar mass of aluminum is 26.98 grams. And I should write that down here at 0.0249 grams of aluminum. So in this problem, we had several things going on here. First, we're, we're told about the reaction. We're told that the hydrogen gas was collected over water, and we had to subtract the partial pressure of the water vapor from the total pressure in order to find the moles of hydrogen. Once we found the number of moles of hydrogen, we were able to use the balanced chemical equation to relate the moles of hydrogen to the moles of aluminum reacted, and then finally convert the moles of aluminum to grams of aluminum.